An English Man's Guide to Being Rude Without Being Rude Number 1. Expressions of Shock Here in Britain, we're often surprised in public, and being awkward and polite, we can't possibly swear in public. Place the word holy in front of an object or animal, and then put that in a random place. Try kitchen appliances first. For example, Holy lemons in a washing machine. Or, Holy yacht in a yoster. Or, Holy waters in Paris. Or alternatively, what the followed by an innocent word, usually sounding like a swear word, like, What the ducks? Or, What the frick frack? Number 2. Sudden injury or inconvenience. We're never alone in Britain. What if relative were to overhear our blasphemy? Or the tiny government microphones were to pick up our rudeness and send it to the Queen? Interchange the swear word for an innocent one, usually starting with the same sound so that they can be swapped last minute. Sugar. Or forks. Or crayons. Number 3. Insulting another person. Now being the most moani country of them all, a simple swear word isn't good enough when insulting your close friends or family. They deserve better than that. A popular choice is the use of derogatory synonyms, or using the your mum format, or calling the other person an object or animal. For example, You're like a piece of soggy bread that was thrown in the river for a duck. You're so Irish, I bet you breathed potatoes. You badger. Microwave. Number 4. Saying the word sex without saying the word sex. It's not proper or polite to talk about these things in Britain. We're very conservative about what happens downstairs after tea time. Either that or we'll go into fits of giggles at the mere mention of anything related to intercourse. Replace had sex with an action on something else. Or either rhyme or alliterate. And then they totally did the do. Yep, they flicked the frack. They dingle dangled. They... Okay, on second thoughts, that's enough of that filth. The end.